that this building has never been paranormally investigated mm. before. I think this school is going to give us some idea of how the schoolgirl and the dropout became the killers that they did. The school is now derelict, a graveyard of memories. The long, lonely corridors are deserted, the classrooms empty. The only signs of life are the pigeons, but we were hoping to find more than just birds. What can you tell me about Whittier Junior High School? Well, this actually was the first building that was built expressly as a junior high school in the United States. And it was used as a junior high from 1923 until 1977. The building's fallen into some level of disrepair, but is it quite similar to how it would have been throughout its history? Yeah, if, if you walk through here, you see the auditorium just as it was when it was built in 1923. You know, the, the, the spooky gymnasium just as it was. You know, I walked through here the other day and there was nobody in the building except me. And you start to almost hear things. You start to hear a teacher in the in a classroom. You start to hear, you know, feet in the hallway and you turn and there's nothing there. So it's a, it's a little bit of a, a, a spooky feeling when you walk through this building. Yeah, I'm hearing stuff down there already. As the school descended into the gloom of night, we prepared to investigate the Whittier for the first time. Would we find Starkweather here, a spirit stuck in detention, lurking in the labyrinth of corridors and rooms? Bobby, we're standing on the steps here, just ahead of the doors for Whittier Junior High School. Things that we can discount in a building like this, obviously, kind of you know, radiators banging, any sort mm -hmm. of like pipes and that sort of thing. Right. But apart from that, there's nobody else here. There's it's nobody just else us. Here. Already, some of the areas that we've checked out, getting that spooky feeling that kind of you get that there's a, another presence in here. Starkweather, are you expecting him to interact with us in any way? Yes, he's here. And he's just standing over there watching us and very interested in, in what we're doing. And so there's no doubt that it's going to be you, me, and Charles Starkweather going through this place. I suppose places when they've had such a purpose. Right there. He's right there. Who's right there? Charles Starkweather. Let me show you what he's doing. He wasn't very tall, was he? He was, he was about this tall. Classic James Dean pose. He's got the cigarette in his hand. You're convinced that Starkweather is here in spirit? Are, are you simply happy to have him tag along? I'm not happy to have him tag along. He's going to tag along whether we want him to or not. I would be cautious. I would, I would, I would definitely keep an eye on over one shoulder. I was alarmed that Bobby felt that Starkweather had already attached himself to us. The night had barely begun. All right, we're in the uh, auditorium right now. And the wind is really howling in the back, so we may get some of that noise on here. It's incredibly atmospheric in here, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you couldn't fail to feel an atmosphere because it's an abandoned place, isn't it? Is there somebody here with us? Yeah. What is your name? Is this Charles Stockweather? You obviously had the courage to kill in life. Do you have the courage to show yourself now? Is there anything that you can do to make some kind of a noise or presence so that I know this is you? There's so many noises in here. Absolutely, I heard footsteps. It was kind of up here, I think. It was up and then over in the corner. Some of the other things I'm experiencing are lights that are out of the corner of my eye, which are often suggesting that there's spirit activity, but also shadow movement, like just as you as you turn and then a shadow just like slinks away into the into the background. 
Hello? It sounds like footsteps. Yeah, it does. Definitely. Just right down at the yeah. end there. There's definitely a presence down there. Why don't I go and stand down there and try that again and see if I I've can heard, hear I it. I heard footsteps. You did? I'm going to shut these lights off real quick. Okay. It was definitely around here, Bobby, that I heard what sounded very much to me like footsteps. Hello? Is somebody here? Hello? Is there anybody here? Did you hear that, like a door opening? Yeah. Let's go down, let's go down. Type of squeak. I mean, it had to be pretty loud. See, I'm hearing it. Did you hear yeah. that? I can hear bits and pieces, but I feel like I need something much more audible. But the fact, the the thing is, we shouldn't be hearing any bits and pieces. Yeah. Well, the side of the old creeks and kind of old building stuff, right? Hang on. Hang on. Are you hearing that? Well, there's a freight train and there's the wind. No. That's... It sounds almost like a, I don't know, like a window yeah. open, opening or closing or... That's what I'm saying. Place this funny things to your head. Hello. Could some of these noises be attributed to the fact that earlier you were sure that stark weather was there? Do you think is there an element oh, being saying, played with? If he could be playing with us, that's totally in his personality. Because I'm also feeling a presence over my back. I mean, that must have been how. Starkweather's victims felt, I would imagine, if they even had a chance to, because he quite often shot them from behind. Charles, is this is this you around here trying to make yourself known? Look at this. Look at look 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 look. Oh yeah. The fact that it's going bug wild like that generally suggests that there's activity. I got it on the meter. The meter's going crazy. You get huge fluctuations. Yeah. Right here on the tips of my Come on, finger. do more than that. Make a sound or something. Son of a bitch. What the hell is that? I think it's in here. Jesus Christ. The shock of the noise had alerted Dave. Has, it, has anybody heard that in the time that we've been here? I've never no. heard it come on before. I mean, that's good. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea what that is, but that that noise was well, absolutely terrifying. Well, it scared the hell out of me. Something that strong and that loud is just in the other room. That was very much a mechanical.